It's yeah. Christmas and we got the spirit. That's right. Mm. I'll get this over here. It looks heavy. Right. Uh, can I put this on the truck for you? Well, I'll just put it down by the front door. That's more than enough. <laughs> hey, and, and I'll help you with that bag, OK? My glasses. Oh, can't you see without them? Not very well. Right, right. <laughs> got you. Look, why don't you just hand me that bag over there, and I'll be on my way. No, I think this is our grocery bag. Mm, right, right, gotcha. Yeah, well, I have trouble with my eyes, too. It's a curse, ain't it? Yeah, right. I put your stuff by the door. I wouldn't leave it there too long. Someone could run off with it. Yeah, you know, there was a burglary here just a few weeks ago. Hmm, what gets into folks? <laughs> well, thanks a million. <laughs> There's one thing I hate. It's making two trips. Yeah, well, uh, Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> Santa? Oh, right, right, gotcha. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Prancer. Uh, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Boy, doesn't that make you feel good, giving that fellow a hand with his work? Yes, it does, Raj. That's what I call a real good deed, helping others to help themselves. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, and he's a nice guy, too. Oh, yeah. Everyone seems a little bit nicer at Christmas, you know? Yeah. Hey, Rion, turn on the TV set. I bet there's some great Christmas shows on. Right, I bet we're just in time for bowling for eggnog. <laughs> Yeah, let's watch that. Okay, Raj. Raj, where is it? Uh, channel 12. No, Raj, where's the TV set? It's gone. Hmm? And where's my clock radio? Where's my tape recorder? Where's our brains? You know what I think, Raj? You think we helped that burglar take our stuff out of here? Right. Right. Raj, our Christmas presents, they're gone. They're gone. Everything we had stacked on the tree is missing. All the presents were Dee, Mama, Dwayne, Little Earl, Big Girl, everybody. A Christmas present thief. That's the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> and we helped him carry them out. How dumb can you get? It's lucky we didn't get here earlier. With us helping, he'd have the couch and the chair. <laughs> What the stuff, Shirley? Oh, thanks, Dee. Put it on the table. Okay. Hi, guys. Hey, Dee. Oh, hi, hey, Dee. Working on your Christmas list, Raj? No, Dee. I did all my shopping. That's smart. Before the Christmas rush. Not so smart. It was also before the Christmas burglar. <laughs> well, that's what he's doing now, Dee. He's making a list of the things that were stolen. Good idea, but the problem is you forget things. What you should do is wait till they capture the burglar and get his list. I mean, his would be much better. He's got all the stuff right there in front of him. <laughs> 
Dwayne, your head would make a good motel. There'd always be a vacancy. <laughs> What's new about the burglary? Uh, nothing, but we did give a description of the burglar to Detective Barnett. So all we can do is hope for the best. Oh, okay. Come and help me, dude. Yeah. All right. Hi, Rose. Dwayne Rerun. Hi, guys. Hey, Hi, little Earl. Hi, sweetheart. Hello, little Earl. You look terrific, baby. <laughs> you sure come on strong for a guy that's only up to my kneecap. <laughs> this is nothing. I haven't made my real move yet. <laughs> Little Earl, maybe you should find somebody your own size. There is nobody my size. Oh. Hey, Little Earl, how's your father doing on a burglary case? Oh, yeah, I got so hung up on my old lady here, I forgot. <laughs> He's been trying to find you. He has? Why? Has he caught that burglar? Maybe. He has somebody that fits the description, and he wants you two to go down the station and take a look at him. He's been calling your apartment all day. Come on, Rerun. We'll call Big Earl and tell him we're on our way. Oh, OK, fellas. Now, you know what's required here. We're going to bring in some suspects. I want you to look them over very carefully. Now, if you see our man, I want you to tell me. Don't worry, Detective Barnett. I know that guy anywhere. Hey, so would I. Hey, that's him. That's the guy, that's the creep. You mean Reverend Morgan? <laughs> Reverend? Reverend? He's the police chaplain. Hello, Reverend. Hello, Detective. Reverend, of course. <laughs> Such a kind, nice face. <laughs> Rerun, be more careful. That's right. Now, take your time. We don't want to convict an innocent man. Just make sure you can make a positive identification. OK, we'll be careful. OK. Send him in. <laughs> Put your hands down. Put your hands down. That guy in the middle looks familiar, Raj. I think he's our man. Could be, but I'm not sure. And uh, you on the end? Get rid of the magazine. <laughs> That's him. That's him. The guy on the end. Mm -hmm. I think you're right this time, Rerun. Mm-hmm. I never seen a man look more like a criminal. Not since Reverend Morgan. <laughs> Could we see him with his cap on? Yeah, you on the end. Put on your cap. Oh, and take that coat off. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's him, all right. Mm hmm That's the guy. Okay, now, there's no doubt in your mind. You're absolutely positive. Right, absolutely. Don't worry, detective. We're sure, because that sports coat is the clincher. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the same sport coat he was wearing the other night. Mm -hmm. I couldn't forget it. Man, you had to shop around a long time to find a sport coat that ugly. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Book <'em. laughs> Hey, Rod, you guys picked that criminal right out of the lineup, huh? Oh, yeah, Dwayne. No problem. I just hope the police can get our coffee maker back. I'm tired of fried Sanka. <laughs> you know what I miss most? The TV set. Rerun, what are you watching? Well, in the Stevens apartment, they have Columbo on. And the Foxes are watching Rich Man, Poor Man. And in the Simpsons apartment, it's the newlywed game. The Simpsons don't have a TV set. Right. <laughs> Nosy. <laughs> Man, what are we gonna do all night? We have no TV, no radio, and no record player. Well, we should be getting all our stuff back now that we've identified the burglar. Yeah, are you sure you got the right guy? Sure, of course I'm sure. Once I meet somebody, I never forget him. Me too. I have a great memory. Hi, am I late? For what? You asked me over for Christmas eggnog. Don't oh. you remember? Yeah, I must have forgotten all the excitement, Shirley. Come on in, baby. Hey, Shirley. Hi, guys. Come on, help me with this eggnog, okay? okay. Can I hope you right? You know, this, this is the season to be jolly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra la 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 la. Yeah, this is the season to be jolly. Hey, what kind of guy would go around stealing at Christmas? Hmm. Maybe that's how he gets his jollies. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what kind of guy was 
Ramsey. I mean, what did he look like? Oh, he was about five foot eight. eleven. <laughs> yeah, about that tall, five foot eight or eleven. Now, what color was his eyes? Blue. Brown. <laughs> well, how about his hair? Black. Brown. I mean, I mean brown. Black. I mean, gray. <laughs> Look here, are you sure you two turkeys went to the same lineup? <laughs> well, now, the truth is, it was dark in the hallway when we saw that burglar. And I did drop my glasses. I'm afraid I didn't get a good look at him. But you saw him rerun. Hey, don't try to lay that on me, Raj. I was downstairs most of the time. <laughs> when I did come upstairs, he had an apple in his mouth, mm -hmm. and he had a sack, you know, kind of, uh, covering his face. Oh. No, I'm not so sure. Me neither. And we were wrong about him being the only one who wore that jacket. Hey, look, well, tis the season to be jolly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. You know what, guys? I got something heavy for you to deal with. What's that, Shirley? I think you might have sent an innocent man to jail for Christmas. Oh, wow. <laughs> but better him than me. <laughs> Excuse me, Sergeant. Yeah. Here, fill out this arrest report. Where'd you get this guy on, Lieutenant? Huh? Oh, it's Mad Dog Jackson. He's a mean one. We better put him in isolation. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm not a lieutenant. And I'm not Mad Dog Jackson. Now, you're not a lieutenant. I mean, he's not Mad Dog Jackson. No? Well, you better not put him in isolation. It's lonely there. You'd hate it. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, we, we came for uh, Detective Barnett. Oh, Barnett? Sure, hang on. I'll get him for you. Thank you, sir. Gee, Raj, he thought I was a criminal. <laughs> yeah, and he thought I was a police officer. <laughs> it just goes to show you that even an experienced professional can make a mistake. That's right, and we're amateurs, so it's a good thing we came back here to double check. These guys are here to see you, Barnett. Hey, Raj. Hey, big girl. girl. Good news. We ran a make on your suspect. His name is Willie Spencer. He's a small-timer, but his M.O. checks the apartment job. And he's got a record as long as your arm. Yeah. Con man, heister, petty larceny, smash and grab. Smash and grab? Isn't that a game show? <laughs> <laughs> but Big Earl, do you really think the guy we, we identified is the burglar? I sure do. I'd say yes, without a doubt. What do you think, Sarge? Are you kidding? We're dealing with facts here. This guy's got a record. Breaking and entering, petty theft, everything fits. We're dealing with solid evidence. Facts, facts, facts. Well, guys. Well, I guess we may as well go home, Roger, and leave everything to the police. I think you're right. See you later, guys. Oh, and here's the thing that really convinced me. What was that? The guy's a Virgo, but his moon's in Capricorn. <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> Uh, look, if you don't mind, we'd like to take one more look just to be extra sure. Yeah, we don't want to convict an innocent Virgo. Okay, Sarge, bring in Spencer. Look, guys, I think you're right to take a second look and be 100% sure. Oh, Spencer, over here. Got a little surprise for you. You recognize these guys, huh? A hallway, a stolen TV, Christmas packages. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's them. They did it. Lock them up. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Sit down, Willie. Right, right. Gotcha. I'll just sit down in this chair here, right? Right? Gotcha. Hey, Raj, didn't the guy in the hallway say, right, right, gotcha. Right, right, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, but lots of folks say, right, right, gotcha. Right, right. Gotcha. <laughs> It won't work, Willie. These young men picked you out of a lineup. They're just here to double check. Yeah, he does look like the guy we saw. Sure. Look, here's your signed statement. You said the suspect was about 5'10"? Mm-hmm. A lot of guys are 5'10". There must be millions and millions of guys 5'10 in China alone, right? <laughs> right? Right. And you stated he had a nervous, jumpy way of talking? We sure did, and he sure does. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt in my mind now. He's the guy. 
Mm-hmm, he sure is. I'm glad we had a chance to hear you talk. That was a dead giveaway. Okay, that's it. Sergeant, take him away. Right, right. Gotcha. Right, right. Hold <laughs> it! Not again. I'm afraid so. So we came here to make a positive identification, and we're not sure. Yeah, he looks like the guy, and he sounds like the guy. But we just aren't sure. And it is Christmas. You do know that if you don't identify him now, we can't hold him. We have to let him go. Yeah, we know. I guess you're just going to let him go. Right. Right. Gotcha. Sure. Right. Hey, Raj. Have you figured out what you're going to put on our Christmas cards? Yeah, just about. Uh, how does this sound? <clears throat> We wish you a Merry Christmas and lots of Yuletide cheer. Somebody stole your present. Better luck next year. <laughs> what do you think? <coughs> nice, Raj. Real sentimental. Mm, mm, mm. Merry Christmas. Well, at least we don't have to worry about Willie Spencer being locked up in jail away from his friends and family during the holidays. Raj, look what just came down the chimney. Ho, 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 and a sock in your fireplace. <laughs> wow, Mrs. Santa Claus. Hmm? How are things at the North Pole? Well, I would have been here sooner, but uh, have you ever tried to put on a pair of frozen pantyhose? Mm -mm. Huh? Child, let me tell you, that'll put a yeah, yeah, yeah in your ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Hey, well, come on in and thaw out, Mrs. Santa Claus. Well, I can't stay too long because I'm helping out at the mission. Oh, yeah. Hey, come on in, the elves. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> where should we put your presents? Well, under the tree where uh, the presents for you guys used to be. All right, move yeah. it over there. Come on, move it. Hey, sweet cakes. How about opening my present now? I want to be on hand in case you throw your arms around me in gratitude. Okay, how can I resist that smile? It's Eau d'Amour, the perfume of love. This is it? That's all I can afford. Well, that's sweet, little Earl. Thanks. Ooh. Wow, it worked. What a Christmas. <laughs> Hey, what's that? That noise came from the bedroom. Well, maybe it's Mr. Claus. Look, do you have a chimney in there? <laughs> Somebody is in there. Get behind me, D. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll handle this. Hey, in the bedroom. This is a... Don't push. Don't okay. push. <laughs> uh, this is a police officer. Come out with your hands up. Right. Right. Got gotcha. you. Willie Spencer? Hey, is that the same guy they arrested for stealing your press? Uh -huh. That's right. Well, uh, Merry Christmas to all, and to all good. Hold it. Willie, what were you doing in our bedroom? Hey, watch him, guys. I'll go check. Mm-hmm. Ain't no about it, doubt it now, Willie. You a crook. I ain't no crook. I, I, I was just on my way to church, and, and I saw this fire escape. So I decided to take a shortcut through your bedroom. My, 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 this turkey sure is busy. He even works holidays. Mm -hmm. hey, how about that, a holiday turkey? <laughs> Did you guys ever see this stuff before? Hey, the presents that, that were stolen. Yeah. What? Breaking into an apartment to return stolen merchandise? That's a new one. Listen, the next time you're making your rounds holiday turkey, drop some by my place. <laughs> I never would have figured you for this, Willie. Why'd the change of heart? You were in the clear. Why'd you bring all this stuff back? Well, it is Christmas, and, and the guys were nice enough to let me go, and, well, I got to thinking about it. I did steal their stuff, and, well, I just brought everything back, that's all. Hey, well, it's all here. Is Dee's present? Is Shirley? Yeah, little L and big girl. And here's the one I got for you, Raj. Okay. Hey, but I don't recognize this one. Mm -hmm. To the guys in apartment 3A from the guy who took your stuff away. <laughs> it's from me. 
A burglar-proof door lock? <laughs> I, I picked it up at a hardware store. <laughs> I, I bought it, I bought it! <laughs> right, right, gotcha. You know what, Willie? You're all right. Yeah, you're all right, Willie. Yeah. I bet if there were more criminals like Willie Spencer, jail would be a much nicer place. Uh, speaking of jail, Willie, I, uh, I hate yeah, to do this. I know. Yeah, you know. But why does he have to go to jail? He brought everything back. That's right, Dad. There's nothing missing. Well, that's not good enough. Well, he did break in here. He stole all this stuff in the first place. <laughs> there is a case to be made. Unless, of course... Uh... Unless, of course, what? Well, unless, of course, you refuse to press charges. How can we press charges? Mr. Spencer is a personal friend of ours. Right? Right? Got gotcha. you. <laughs> That's right. He was just taking a shortcut through our bedroom on his way to church. Oh, come all ye faithful, <laughs> joyful and triumph. Come on, what do you say, big girl? What can I tell you? Have an eggnog. <laughs> hey, Willie, do you know this one? <clears throat> Dashing through the snow In one, one horse open sleigh hey, hey, hey. Oh, the fields we go hey, hey. Laughing all the way hey, hey, hey. Somebody hey. ring <laughs> Make his spirits rise <laughs> Oh, let us ride and sail Saying song tonight hey. Jingle bell, jingle bell Jingle all the way Bye, Shirley. <laughs> wow, that turned out to be some party, huh, Rock? Yeah, sure did. And didn't Willie turn out to be quite a guy? Yeah, he was real nice. Mm -hmm. You imagine him giving us a gift. Hey, speaking of presents, Rod, you haven't opened the present I got you. Yeah, and you haven't opened mine, either. Neither one of you have opened mine. Well, I guess we can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, we can wait till tomorrow. Yeah, we'll just wait till tomorrow. Do you want to wait too long? <laughs> no, let's get him now. Let's get him. <laughs> All right, first, <clears throat> this is my present to you, Rerun. Come on, open it up. Well, it's already been open, Raj. Huh? It's empty, Raj. Empty? A beautiful sweater should be in there. How could it be empty? Well, wait a minute, it's not quite empty. There's a note in here. Sorry, nobody's perfect. Signed, Willie Spencer. 